next section of for loops in JavaScript, search the text for your name. Alright, so this is showing us what we're going to make. It looks like we're going to have some text. We're going to look for a variable my name. It's going to go into a hits array, and it's going to run through the whole text.length, and if it equals E, in this case with Eric, we're going to add that to the text. So, let's uh, get started. See what we can do here. So, you can see it goes Eric, 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 and it's breaking down each one, one by one. So, uh, Claire and set the following three variables. So we have their text is equal to some name Dylan, some name Dylan, and then we'll say my name is equal to Dylan, and then we'll say hits is equal to an empty array and of course we have to go back and put our semicolons it seems to work without it but I think the convention is to do that so on to the next step below your existing code we want to write a for loop now we're going to say int i or rather i is equal to zero uh, and while i is less than text.length and then we want it to increment by one in the for loop. All right, so we're not writing anything in the for loop yet. All right, it wants us to write an if statement in the body of our for loop. You should check to see if the current letter is equal to the first letter of your name. So we'll say if. So we'll say if i is equal to equal to, well, let's see here. So it needs to be, oh, okay. So if my name, and we're checking. first letter of my name. So if this was, just to kind of think of it as a string, there's 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're seeing if my name is equal to the first letter, in this case it's capitalized, we want it to do some stuff. Um, for now we're not asking it to do anything. Oh, in this case we need it to be I, because we're going to be eventually running through everything. more equals? No? Let's see. Yes. So. Oh. If text. Whoops. So we're checking text, not my name. My mistake. All right. So if text is equal to D, then it's asking us to write a for loop in our if statement here. And we're going to change the variable. So we're going to say, why are they declaring that there? I should work this on. In this case, go ahead and add the second for loop inside your statement. So for, say j is equal to zero, where j is less than i, uh, j plus plus, and I believe that should work, but I'm not quite sure. Your loop should stop when it hits the value of the first iterator, say i, 
plus the length of your dot my name. Of your my name. Alright, so once it start off when it's equal to i, we're gonna just let's send text dot length. That's what it's asking. I'm not I'm not quite sure what it's going on. Oh, the name dot length. Alright. So it wants us to do it. Alright, I'm a little confused, so we're gonna go to oh. Bad gateway. Alright, there we go. So we're on slide five or seven. Why my name dot length plus i instead of my name dot length? So and this is equal to it, and then it wants us to run my name dot length plus i. So in this case, j is equal to i because that's where we're starting. And then we want to go for the full length of our name plus where we currently started our i. And that should work. It looks like your second for loop isn't pushing values to the hits array. It doesn't ask us to push values to the hits array. Make sure it's working properly and that my name's text appears somewhere in the text variable. So let's go back to our forum here. Alright, so let's see here. The loop will not run likewise with this, where j is less than. Should be j. Is that what we did? No, j is less than i plus my name dot length. Alright. Alright, let's see. If for some unknown reason this works. That's going to be it. We just crashed the browser here, so we're going to have to refresh it. Yeah, uh, so my computer crashed because I ran an infinite for loop, so we're just going to start this section over. It's asking us to write a second for loop inside our if statement. So, uh, that hits the value of the first operator, so it's going to say j is equal to i, and it runs where j runs from i plus my name dot length, and then j plus plus, and in the for loop, it wants us to add to our, so we're going to say hits dot push. Push will add it to the next ava next available spot in the hits array. Um, and we are going to do it for the text at the J position. And that should add it to it. Oh, close. 
so careful. Your second for loop should stop when it reaches its current point in the string plus my name dot length. Your second for loop should stop when it reaches its current point in the string plus my name dot length. Uh, I used a capital L there, and there we go. Close that, and we'll go on to the next section. Under the existing code and outside all your loops, so outside our for loop, set up an if else statement. So we'll just do else law. Um, You don't have any if all right so if it's not length it's not equal to zero it wants us to print so console dot log wants us to print the uh, what's it say your name your name wasn't all right so this is uh, if it is equal to zero rather else wants us to print hits and here we go so we got Dylan twice so a little bit uh interesting of a for loop but uh, it all works and move on to our next step of Java goodness as I said so we're gonna share it as always it looks like next section we're going to be taking a look at wall loops in JavaScript